today we are working on our cargo lines here. We've uh, done the industry overhaul episodes, uh, which I remove all the generic industry and create the new uh, farming area. And now we also have that new um, forestry industry as well. So everything uh, specific, there is no generic industry. We have specialized industry only. We also have the farming area. We can't forget that. So I got a, a comment from you guys saying that, uh, and it's a very good point, actually. I uh, Because I have to be honest, I never really thought about the uh, cargo transport transportation in the city and as we were doing things i was figuring out along the way so i thought it was a good idea to come back a little bit and rethink this make sure that it's all working we don't have like a huge deal of traffic on our cargo lines but we have a mix of cargo and passenger and we also have a mix of external uh, exports and imports and in just inside the city a transportation as well which is adding a lot a lot of traffic uh, truck traffic to the roads as well so it's not good and it's not like in an unbearable state I think we are doing well keeping the traffic at 50 percent and it's working fine at the moment but I, I think we can prevent any issues in the future. And as I've seen these comments, uh, that made completely sense. I'll uh, see if I can put a comment on the screen. So if I remember that, <laughs> so you guys can see what that was about. And so today it's all about making sure that our exports have their dedicated lines and our uh, cargo moving throughout the city will have their own lines as well. And then uh, you see that I've done a second uh, station just next to the other one that we had there, just to make sure that we uh, had one specific for its own purpose. And here I'm redoing the passenger line so we don't use the same tracks as well. I've started using this North American uh, railway in here. But as you can see on the right corner of the screen, there is a blue issue there. <laughs> it's like a glitch that uh, leaves the the connection, the, the node uh, in a blue transparent color. And it was annoying me so much. And then I've ended up bringing all back to the standard vanilla uh, tracks anyway. So I think that was working better for us. And I just left it in there. But yeah, this would be uh, a huge uh, episode for me because this will make sure that we can deal with future traffic and any major issues that we had. This also is a good solution to bring the trucks into that big commercial area. Although we are just at the edge of the commercial area in there, it's like it, it would be uh, great for us. So all the trucks can avoid the highways and they would just be spawned at the uh, at the train station, the cargo station, cargo hub. And then we will just use that to deliver uh, locally. So not like running all the way through the city and uh, getting merged with the uh, private vehicles and public transportation and all that sort of stuff. So here I'm working on the second station still, making sure that we have a proper access in here. And I'm doing the big avenue there. I think that will work a little bit better for us this time and in this place. And I'm looking here, trying to figure out where I will bring the, the cargo line in there. So then I decide, well, let's just put down the lines over there and make sure that we we have a, a passage for the uh, for the uh, transport uh, passenger trains in there. So because when I delete the line, I remove that. So they will all be waiting for the trains at the station to get through and go into the commercial area where we have our 
connection to the outside world. And I think this looks really nice, actually. Uh, at the end, I did some uh, detailing as well. And I think that was uh, not too much, but it was just on the point because sometimes when you look at it, so you, you have like trees um, in the real world trying to hide some of the, um, the railways, but it's not everywhere and it's not like overdoing it. So like next to the place where I live, uh, we have the, the train line going through there and we can still see it. The trees helps with the a sound barrier for the for the trains, which uh, like we barely hear that, and but it doesn't hide completely the trains going through. So some areas I just have a few trees, some areas I have a little bit more, some areas I won't have any. Uh, so you see how that looks. And here is the place where I finally put the the station there, and bringing water to all those stations as well. We can't forget that. And I make just a one-way road there, uh, just reusing the one-way road from the other station for the exports, which will help us. And here is for our old area. Uh, that's actually the, the commercial area. So I've gone above there. I raised the, the tracks to go through this avenue because with this connection to the new part of the city here, this will probably be a busier connection. I can see that we have a lot of movement already there and this is not really good. So I then move, move that uh, above so we don't have any uh, level crossing. And here I've put down the I forgot the name of that. <laughs> the train line, the, the track, the tracks. Yes. Uh, what's going on? So, and then I'll connect that to the to that new area. Just laying out some guides here, making sure that we go up and have a nice slope there. There's nothing too much. And moving those pillars because they are just on the... Uh, pedestrian tunnel for the crossing over there, which I removed due to the traffic as well. And yeah, I'm just looking that we had a train over there. And obviously we had to raise this uh, part of the highway because of that new line. I think uh, this was a long time coming. And <laughs> so this is all connected, all looking good. Just redid the setup for the roundabout. Which, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, I've changed the name as well. So we have a, a tradition, and the tradition is to always have Rodolfo's name in our cities or, or games. Any games that we play, I always name uh, uh, some of the characters with uh, his name. And this is a tradition that we will carry in here. I changed that later on for Rodolfo Balt, just to... Make sure, sure that we use the roundabout um, terminology as well. And this is the old part of the city. So we have the connection there. And I'm figuring out how do we cross this to this area. Because we'll connect the old area to this farming area. And then we'll go around and connect to the other side of the, the city to the forestry, industry, and commercial zone as well. So I'm taking some things out of the way here, making sure that I have this uh, tunnel line up. And although this was a little bit of a challenge, I think it was pretty easy to do this second bridge here after we got the first one. It was just a matter of uh, leveling everything up and making sure that we, we had the same distance from the remainder of the tracks. And I think this actually looks pretty good now that we have those two uh, bridges one next to the other. I think they're quite nice. And I like that we have the red one for the cars and the blue ones for the railway. I think that looks good as well. And yeah, um, I'm still not completely happy about the this interchange here for the cargo, um, for the train lines, but 
you know what? I think that that will do for the moment. I think we will figure that out. I think we we have time for that. And even though like they, I'm not completely happy. They work very well, and I think that's what we we have to have in mind, right? So yeah, then we have to go above here to connect to the other side. So there are a couple of crossings here, which is all right. And I will just make sure that that is uh, nicely round there because, well, you know me, sometimes I just spend more time than I should trying to make things look like, like they are perfect. And I oversee things like just the traffic. So yeah. Welcome to my world. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't, but yeah. And then we made that connection so we can go both ways over there. And we are back here to the uh, farming area. Now I'll start doing some detailing and making sure that we don't have like the trees on the way over there because we did change a few things. I also need to make sure that uh, everything is properly connected and everything is working. So that's why I'm following the train here, just to make sure that they were going to where we should. Then I found like this weird tunnel in here next to the farming area, which then I fixed. So bringing those rocks back to their place, making sure that I've add a few more there. I thought like we have these uh, tunnel and then we just have this small area where we go above ground and it was just a little bit weird and then I decided to put like those rocks in there because I thought well maybe this was the reason why we couldn't tunnel that uh, would be too expensive to remove all those rocks and all that stuff and then I put that down there and that looked better and yeah so we are now almost getting to another part of the video. So putting down the a lot of grass around these areas, uh, you see that I put some on the pathway there as well, but then I'll come back later and change that a little bit. And then I'm choosing some trees here around this area. You see that uh, most of the time now I'm using uh, trees that we find here in Australia. I think like I, I like them. They, like very bushy, they are always tall. I don't know if you noticed as well, I like tall trees. And here's the last part that I mentioned. So in this area between the train line and the road there, I decided to do a park. I think that would be a nice way to utilize this area. Initially I put the path so people would use it to actually get on those places, on those working place. But then I come back and said, oh, you know what? I will do a park there. I think that would look pretty good. We'll make some money out of it. And uh, I'll just decide in which fence I would use. And I decided to go with the city fence. So we're doing a city park in here, but using the natural reserve uh, path. And again, I will use a lot of uh, trees from Australia and I'll change different levels of heights as well for those trees. So we can have um, different, we'll bring like a more complete look for the park as well. So if you're on the ground, you see that smaller trees, some bushes, and then you'll see something higher as well. And now I'm putting the fence all around the parks and the entrance, I did the main entrance over there. And I, replace those dirt paths here with other entries and I realized that to do the other entries I need a park area which I have forgotten to do and I'm trying to do like a very neat uh, shape here I don't know why I like to make districts look neat and not being so like uh, weirdly shaped so that's why I took some time there taking a look at that but then finishing up with those um, fence around those main avenue, actually around this main avenue, not those, just one. And doing some more gates over there, replacing them where I um, 
than the the dirt path and i've put the um, uh, park maintenance building just over there with the other services of the the city as well i think that would be helpful for us to have that and probably we need more than one but i don't know let's look how it looks and feel later on if this is doing enough for us or not and but for the moment i think just one is more than enough and then just some detail is in there. So did some restrooms uh, in three points in the park, did some information uh, center over there next to the city and some cafes and gazebos along the way. I think this looks great. And some food stalls here closer to the uh, industry as well. I think like this might be a good area for some people to walk and get in there and get some food and then go back to work. I think that'd be great actually. And now to the trees. So starting, I don't know why I started from the tallest one, but yeah, I think that works. Uh, so put that down, as you can see, I am covering a lot of this area. I want it to feel very secluded as well and very dense. I think this would be one of the few areas here that will have a lot of trees because of the all the agriculture that is going around and yeah i think this makes sense having it like that and now i'm putting the smaller ones so i think that's a blue gun and on here next to the roundabout i'm just doing two jacarandas they're not australian they are brazilian and but you find that a lot here as well so i thought it would be a nice touch to have it there um just on that roundabout because it was feeling a little bit empty and as i mentioned before as we go through this every time we do some detailing in an area or another and we will get this done in a minute so that'll be easier than just focusing on one detailing for the whole city so back here on the commercial area, I did some clusters of gun trees in there and did those, added those farm guns as well, just to make sure it feels like more connected to the to everything that we have around it. And then I just duplicate some of those trees just to make that area a little bit more secluded as we have a lot of um tracks going down there and add some trees between and those tracks as well just so it's a little bit more taken care of and well yeah i think that's it and let's jump into the live play so you can see how that's looking okay guys here we are and this is the beginning of our new line our new cargo line and before we get into anything, so as you can see, our traffic flow has already improved. There are some places where I definitely think we can improve that. And after we remove the industry from here, that is another place where traffic is backing up a lot, which are those two roads there. So we will change that later on. And but at the moment, like I don't doesn't really matter. You can see that there are some traffic in here because this junction is too close to the roundabout. So that's probably something I'll change as well. Maybe this will be a connection just for this one. Uh, but let's see. Uh, that's not the goal for this episode. But it's going up to 80. I think the maximum I saw was 83 when before it was going up, up to 80, uh, 79. So pretty good, I would say and this removed a lot of trucks from the highways as well so i don't know if you can notice but this has a lot less traffic and this junction here especially has no trucks at all so i'm pretty happy about that and this station is not very often used because this is mostly to bring goods from other areas to here so I think at the moment mostly from the bakery to the city so that's 
where they will deliver the goods and then the trucks will deliver to the commercial areas in here. So this is our <coughs> new park there. And this is looking pretty good, I believe. I really like the, the look of this. Can we take a look at that in first person? There you go. Maybe, oh, you know what? Let me pause this and let's see the park through the eyes of Robert Dixon. There we go. Here we go. I will speed things up a little bit so we can see that. Oh, we just saw a train coming down there. That's great. And as you can see, this is very secluded. You can barely see the train line over there that we just did. And he went to the gazebo. Nice. Okay, we didn't want to go to the gazebo, but I guess we had no chance there. So again, when we are just here in this area, it's a pretty nice area. I can see a lot of people using the gazebos, stretching, a lot of people walking around. This is a busy road. You still have the city at the background, which looks great. And we can just move a little bit over there. I didn't want to leave, but anyway, let's go back again. And there you go. This is an area where you'll see a little bit more of the train line, especially because it curves around over there. And we do have our cafes in here and our restrooms. So this is a pretty nice area that we have there. You can watch the trains go through. How lovely. So <laughs> more gazebos over there. And we're just going around here. This is the building that we had here before. I don't remember which building is this. I don't know if this is the road maintenance building, but I'll take a look in a second. And here is where we have some food trucks and a gazebo, we have some yakisoba over there and more restrooms and then we go back into the road. There we go. So that building over there, let me see. Yeah, ah, this is the bus depot. Okay, fair enough. So as it is in real life, I didn't want to move this. It was right there. So the path goes underneath, uh, behind the the building so that's all right there and here we have our new trees that i mentioned uh, other than that i think i just changed a little bit the curve in here so it was a little bit more round which is looking better now and yeah i i think this is like really nice and i like how they're using the the park here let's see it's Almost 600 people already used it. Nice. 900 attractiveness. Pretty good as well. So have a lot of entertainment to go up and uh, to the next level. Again, pretty happy with that. And yeah, so this is the new train station now. We had this one before, which connects to the uh, external for imports and exports. And this is the new one that we've added. So from here, they, they bring goods here. So probably from the bakery, as I mentioned, all the pastries, nice tasty pastries, Pas pastries. <laughs> Again, really hard to, to say things at the moment. And this is that area that I've added all those rocks. I even added a cave in there. So, which I think looks fantastic from here. Again, if we go on that cave and look out, as you can see, very nice view over there. And I think that was fitting uh, with the area. I'll just move this. I don't know if I'll move this a little bit. I think I'll leave it. Yeah, this goes up and then levels. Okay, I'll leave it. And then this goes underneath here, and then both lines will come out in here. And 
So the left line will be the import export. The right line will be the city line. So from here, <clears throat> we'll have two options. You can go left into the commercial area or you can go right into the forestry industry. So as you can see, we go above there, above the existing line. And this is one of the areas that I did some detailing. So as you can see, there are more uh, trees over there. So you can actually see from here that there are trains. Oh, you can, you can, but it's much better. And then it goes into here, do a little bit of curve and stops here into this new cargo station just next to our uh, little commercial area that is busy, busy, busy. I think this is about to... Oh, our festival area is actually very active at the moment. Pretty cool. I like it. Oh, they didn't like Nestor. But they love Lily Larux. Lily Laru. Larux. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can jump on a train here and see then delivering stuff. And then let's go on the first person view. Then going up on the on that elevated uh, track and we are going into the forestry industry. Which is next to the new part of the city here. The train coming on the other way. This is the fishing area there. Export cargo station. And then we have our station here. And we will stop. Beautiful. Okay, we're back. Everything crashed. The computer crashed. The game crashed. The software was recording crashed. Night crashed. Everything crashed. So <laughs> this was the area that we were looking to. So uh, we have the passenger train here, the new internal cargo station with a new train coming down there. And this is the external one for the exports. And this one in the middle is a bypass for this station. So they don't need to stop here. For this one, I didn't add any bypass because, well, the trains are just on this short line. so. As you can see, it just comes from here, stop here, and there is not so busy. So I thought it'd be um, more than enough, to be honest. And here is where it ends. This is our last uh, internal cargo station. This, again, is our um, external one for exports that goes there. And this is the new connection that I've done here. As you can see, I just used the vanilla um, tracks in there and it's not doing the best thing over there. <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, okay, let that. Uh, so this one goes underneath there just so we don't have a level crossing as well. And from here, they can go to the other side of the city and all that stuff. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I've done. Ah, yeah, I mentioned about the Rodolfo Bout, that, that it is. Rodolfo Bout, here you are. Welcome to the game. So, yeah, we have some more trees here. Uh, I haven't done anything in here yet. I don't know if I'll do or if I'll leave it just like this. Because again, sometimes that's all you have. I don't think we need much more there. Maybe when we use this area, I might do something there. But right now, no, I don't think so. Uh, looking at the, not just traffic, but the, where people are going. So, as you can see, just public transport and cargo coming in here. And some pedestrians. A few trucks going here and there on this area, which is good. Uh, for what is it? This one. Yep. So let me close this truck coming in there. We'll probably take the train up to here or the other side of the city. As you can see, then you have 
some trucks coming from the highway from other cities and or somewhere else I don't know just join the highway there and get into the truck station the truck station the train station uh, train line one coming in from that area another one coming in from the new area as well this one is coming from the city which is great and as you can see here some people coming from uh, outside of the city so coming straight into our internal cargo station so that's exactly what i wanted that's exactly what i want to see so that means that those trucks are not going into the city they are just living right here right where they should live and stop at the train station that's taking all our goods to the city that's exactly what we needed there so beautiful there you go do we have any trucks here probably we still have some coming from yeah external areas and coming through here as you can see well this is dummy traffic uh, dummy traffic means that they're just going through the city but not stopping at the city so yeah that's fine we will always have that but you don't have trucks getting into the city so which is pretty good yeah love that and well i hope you guys did enjoy that as well and are as happy with the outcome of this as i am because well this was some work and i really enjoyed doing it and i hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it as well again uh ideas that came from you guys they uh, are great uh, this was one of the ideas that came from you and i'm pretty happy with the results now and i don't see any more trains uh, crossing each other so fantastic that's what we need that's what we want and i think this is all we can wish so with that out of the way i hope you guys enjoy your day and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye